guys. So here's we've got the exam questions on after the forecasting and fitting a trend. So the number of visitors in a regional animal park um, is seasonal. So okay, good. And um, the data is collected and de-seasonalized. So you can see here they're giving you a formula for de-seasonalized data. So just be wary, that's going to tell me what a de-seasonalized value is. Okay, and they've called the January 2020 is month one. So you might just go here, that's Jan 2020, so you know. And this would be, uh, sorry, and that would be December 2020, just so you're aware, because they put a time code in. So the question is the actual number of visitors for February. So what you have to look at, actual, if we wrote down, remember we said actual or um, is the re-seasonalized? Oh, God, I can't spell. Sorry. Re-seasonalized formula. So we said actual is always the de-seasonalized value times the seasonal index. So we can use, now they're saying for February, so we can use February's seasonal index there, but we need the de-seasonalized value. So this, um, this de-seasonalized value is what we're going to have to use this formula, okay? Now, they said the actual number for Feb 2020, so that is actually uh, month number two. So what I'm going to do is use that formula to get the DS value. So up here, so 2349 minus 198.5 times month two. So I've used this formula here. And then I'm going to times it by the seasonal index, which was 1.25. So I suggest when you do it in your calculator, pop that deseasonalized value in brackets like that and then times your seasonal index outside so that you don't, uh, you get the correct answer. So we end up with 2400, okay? So you just gotta be really careful. They want the actual and they gave you a formula to find the de-seasonalized. This next one, um, it wants the uh, de-seasonalized rainfall for May 2019, so here, if I just wrote the formula for de-seasonalized, that's actual divided by seasonal index. So actual rainfall for May. This is pretty easy, this question. Everything stock standard, 1.22. Um, so I end up with 75.8, okay? So just mainly probably reading the questions, making sure you're answering what they actually want. Okay, and these last ones, Here's a short answer example. So complete um, the table for the seasonal index. So see up here, only one quarter is missing, one seasonal index. So what I know, they all add up to four. So a quick way is just to go four minus all the others added up. So when I do that, I end up with 0 0.6. So I got that one and I popped that in there. So that's a quick way, but you can only do that if only one is missing. We saw earlier what we have to do when there's more than one missing. So in 2019, a total of this many people attended in quarter two. Um, determine the deseasonalized value. So deseasonalized is actual over seasonal index. So they told me that actual. And the seasonal index for quarter two, I can read up there, is 1.1. So we end up with 39.560. Uh, okay, these were people attending, so you definitely would have a whole number, um, if round to a whole number. Okay, a, oops, sorry. A trend line is fitted to deseasonalize. Use this trend line to predict an actual all right, so they want you to predict an actual in quarter four of 2019. So this um, data was quarter four. So, all right, so actual. So if we write 
our formula, remember actual equals D seasonalized times seasonal index. So the D seasonalized, I'm going to have to use that formula again because they gave that to me. So I've got 61860 minus 9748 times quarter four um, times the seasonal index, which for quarter four, if I look up here, was 0 0.8. 0 0.8 and I end up with 18294. Okay. When analyzing um, the sales, the goal shop owner fits a least squares trend line to the D seasonalized set. So you can see they start writing D seasonalized sales. That's why in our exam it was a little bit bad. They didn't write that. Okay, so and we've been given the seasonal index for winter. Use the equation of the trend line to predict the actual sales of umbrellas for winter 2019. So because we've got 2019 and they said um, that summer 2017 was the first quarter. So when you go to 2019, this is actually quarter 11. Okay. And why do I need that? Because even though I'm going to use the actual, remember the actual formula, that's the question, is the D seasonalized times seasonal index. So I'm going to have to use this formula. And I need the quarter number for that formula. So I'm going to times it by 11. They told me the seasonal index was 1.262. So I can times that in and I get 21 point for something, but I'm going to round to the nearest whole number because it asked me to, so 21. Oops, so sorry boys, this, we did that on the calculator and that actually was, uh, so we, that was a little bit wrong, sorry. So we got 55.8, what's that? 90. 90. So 55.90, so we're going to go the nearest whole number, so we will make that 56. There we go.